Hello, my name is Midwife Marley and I'm going to talk to you today about full water and high water leaks. Now I made a video on uh, my Instagram, it was on my reels, but it was a very, very quick video and the format didn't work right, so I didn't really get to explain exactly what was actually going on. So I'm actually going to do a video that's a little bit longer this time just to show you exactly what the four waters are and the high waters are so you kind of get a bit more of an understanding about what it's all about. And also this time I'm not going to use a knife because somebody didn't like that, triggered them a little bit. So I'm going to use a skewer instead to pop the back of the waters. So during your pregnancy, your baby will be growing inside uh, two membranes. So we, we, we call it the gestational sac. So it's a bag of fluid and the fluid is basically am amniotic fluid, that's what it's called. So the baby's floating around in the sac, which is inside the uterus. And then at some point throughout the birth, the membranes usually rupture. Sometimes they don't, sometimes the baby comes out in a full bag. But they rupture, the water releases so that the baby can come out and be born. Now, you may well have heard of um, someone saying that their full waters went or their hind waters, so they had a hind water leak or a full water leak, and it gets a bit confusing. Now, some people seem to think that that, that actually means two separate bags. So the full waters is a bag and the hind waters is a bag. It's not. I'm going to show you now. So I've got my baby. This is a doll. This is not a real baby, okay? Um, contrary to what some people seem to think in my last video. So I've got a baby, pretend baby, in a bag full of water. Now, you can see here, just imagine this is a membrane sac. Now we've got the pelvis here, so the bag of water will be sitting inside the uterus and it will be inside the pelvis. Now you can see right here that there's a little sac of water that is just in front of the baby's head. That is the four waters, okay? That is what comes in front of the baby's head when the baby's head is in the pelvis, four waters. Now, Behind waters is actually the water that is behind the baby's head, so that'll be up here somewhere. So when it's in the pelvis, you can see here, four waters and iron waters. So when the four waters break, which I'll show you in a minute, it can be quite a bit of a gush of fluid coming out. When the high waters rupture, often it's just a trickle because the head, baby's head, if you can see there, it's actually plugging the cervix. So if the waters there rupture, the hind waters, often not much water can actually get past and trickle down. So it might just be like a bit of a leak or a bit of a trickle that goes on until the baby is born. So I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna use my skewer this time and not a knife because I haven't got an amni hook, which is what they use to rupture the membrane and sometimes during labor. Now this baby's head is quite low in the pelvis and actually the baby's uh, too small too small for this pelvis. Um, if the baby was really this slow in real life, it would be being born. So, let me show you. So, here we go. Should have done it there. Should have gotten the step. There we go. You can see the water is coming out of there. Okay? Now, if I was to do the same thing on the back, the top where the high waters are you would just get a little bit of a leak trickling down because like I said before you would have the baby's head plugging the uh, plugging the cervix plugging the pelvis so it'd be a bit difficult for the water to come out in like a gush so when you hear about some people saying my water's broken it's a gush and my water's broken it was a trickle it may be that actually the high waters may well have ruptured meaning that there's a trickle but if Four waters rupture, which is the waters in front of the baby's head, then it could be a bit more of a gush. And also, lastly, I would, I would like to say that if your hind waters break, so the bag behind the baby's head breaks, you may well go into hospital or into your birthing centre or be checked by your midwife, and your midwife may say, Well, actually, the membranes are still intact. I can actually feel the membranes in front of the baby's head. And that is because the membranes are still there and they are still intact. But actually the leak itself is coming from a different part of the membrane. So it's worthwhile to uh, take this into consideration. So I hope that explains it a little bit more. So I hope you've got a bit more understanding now about full waters and hind waters.